Hi guys, welcome to day 9. So today we're going to see about CSS. So the basic knowledge acquiring is very important in case of CSS because all the things I mean properties and its uh, values will be same and we want to know how to use it right so please be clear in this session because introduction is very important for all the languages but in my point of view CSS is mainly holds the introduction portion because other than introduction all those things are easily searchable and uh, introduction portion plays very vital role so let me start so as we all know that the expansion is cascading style sheet so this css is mainly used for giving stays like uh, alignments even small small animations sliding effects all those things can be done in css initially it started with a uh, decoration a small small uh, designing purpose and currently the current version of css uses multiple options to animation right so in CSS, we have three types, right? So it is inline, internal, and external. Okay. Before this, CSS can be written like this element or class or uh, id anything okay open flower bracket and close okay. here the property name for example background hyphen color if you are using any text editor means while typing while starting uh, b itself it will show all other the options so it is very easy to give the properties but you want to know for uh, for what type of coding we want to give this style okay so according to our dis, uh, design we want to give the styles so here this property name is background hyphen color so I can give color like red, green, blue. Okay. I will come to this uh, color combinations. So you just take it as example. Background hyphen color colon red. And color colon white. It means this style, wherever this style I use, the background color will be common red and uh, the font inside that if i am using this for a paragraph means the paragraph background will be in red color and uh, the the font will be in white color okay so this css can be written for this element element type right we can use directly like p or we can use class name or id right so we can see this in select our portion but you just grab this basic knowledge so we can use this element names you can use like a or span element name is the tag name so only this tag name okay we can use simply uh, if you want to use tag name you can use directly like this a open close right so if i want to use for p directly p open close okay here i can write the properties 
So note it down. This property name and value should be differentiated with colon. Okay. And at the end of this line, it should be semicolon. See, for this, this type, if I am going to use only one line of style, for example, color colon white. In this case, the semicolon at the end of the line, the semicolon is not mandatory, it's optional. You can use or uh, if you not use means also it won't show any, any errors. So it, anyway it won't show any error, the design will be collapsed. So no collapse will be happen if you not given the semicolon. Okay, only in case of a single line. If I am having multiple lines like this, I need to give this semicolon. So this is simply for differentiating one style and another style. And this, this colon is mandatory. Whether you are using for inline or internal or external, this colon is mandatory. This is uh, like a syntax. Okay. So coming to the types. So inline means, for example, I'm just using P. Okay. For P tag, uh, I can give like this. Or else I can give open P style. Style is an attribute. We have come across many attributes. Uh, for example, for image, SRC, height, width is attribute. So similarly, we can use style attribute for all tags. Right? We can use class attribute for all tags. We can use ID for all tags. So similarly, style for all tags. So P style equal to inside double quotes, right? We can give background hyphen color. We should use the same format. We should not change the format. If you change the format, uh, format means it won't work. Background hyphen color means background hyphen color. It is mandatory. So colon. Red. If you want to use, you can use semicolon, close, okay, close the bracket, okay, you can uh, start to write your content and you can end your P, okay, this was inline, inline means giving style inside the tag itself, okay, there are some advantages in this inline style is, uh, you can uh, you can easily insert anywhere anywhere you want wherever you are thinking you can easily add the style right uh, you no need to uh, include any any sort of files so we're going to see that in external so that we're going to include a separate css file inside our html document so we don't want to include any CSS file in case of inline state. And we have few advantage, uh, oh sorry, few disadvantages is because of this, okay, uh, we, are, we will be using redundant, uh, repeated states in the same page. Okay, if I want to give uh, the same style for another paragraph means, Okay, so after two to three parts, so I'm going to give the same style P style equal to same background color red. Right, so here the repetition happens. Right, so because of this repetition, the code length will increase. So because of the code length, our website will become slow right so we want to consider the fastness how fast the website is loaded on the browser so this makes the perfect website result so if you want to 
have that perfect optimized website optimization means the accuracy of loading so how fast the website is loaded okay if you have this type of redundant codes and a large set of codes in a single page means so for downloading it will take lot time okay so this have that disadvantage but some rare cases we can use some uh, uh, some styles somewhere in a page but uh, this was not good practice for long term we can use short short styles then next one is internal so internal means internal means uh, inside this head tag okay we will be giving title and all no? right so inside this title sorry inside this head portion we can start to give style simply like this right so we can give style and uh, space type is equal to in double quotes text slash css this was the format which we want to use for internal internal type okay so here as i said before if i want to use for paragraph give the paragraph p tag name okay open flower bracket and here i can give background color hyphen color colon red semicolon so we can also use color colon so in css we will have the spelling like this okay we won't use actual spelling right so we won't use this spelling instead of this we are going to use this only because this was the format and the white and close the bracket okay at last we want to close this tail okay so note, note that uh, we don't want to give this open and close for this type of uh, I mean if I want to add another one style means i can add here itself okay i don't want to use this tag again and again if i use once it's enough i can uh, put all my styling inside this two tag if i want to give for a i can give like this inside the tag itself okay uh, this is better than inline because see in that page wherever p tag is used this style is applied okay but in inline case we want to write the style for every p tag right so in this case it is applied for all over the page right the p tags where and all we have in that page so this style is applied for that so here we we can reduce somewhat a redundancy but still page load and uh, it will take large code actually right so if you want to overcome this we can go with the external right external means we want to create a new file with extension .css okay open a new file and save it as style.css or 1.css anything as you like but the extension should be .css right after creating that file you can place this code there this code okay so there uh, i'm just placing this code uh, I want to link that style link so in beginning of HTML we come across this tag so link space so next we want to give 
rel is equal to in double quotes style sheet right so after that another attribute just i am writing here type equal to in double quotes as we have given here we want to give here so text slash css right so after that we want to link this css right we have created a new file now so just i am taking this as one dot css so href is equal to one dot css okay close this right so while using while a uh, browser executing this particular line the whole code it may be thousands and lakhs of code and this file will be loaded okay so that only we are linking this inside head tag okay we are linking this inside head tag right so after linking this all code will be loaded right so here i can use this style this style in the sense i have given this style in that 1.css right so i can use this style all over the project wherever if i have uh, 10 to 20 pages means also no problem right 10 to 20 html pages means where and all i have used p okay where and all i used to p tag that paragraph tag so this style is applied it is common for whole project right so that is difference between internal and external and one more thing is uh, the disadvantage of external is if i want to have only small page means also this CSS file will be loaded. So that was a drawback because all thousand lines or two thousand lines of code is not needed for that particular page. But anyway, that file will be loaded. That was the drawback of external dot CSS. I mean one dot CSS. So, but our browser catchy. will takes that css file in temporary storage once the page is loaded you can notice that you can notice if you are opening new website still you not open that website but today only you are using or you are opening that website means the website will be uh, slowly loaded okay after sometimes you close that browser you open again the same uh, same website means you can notice some difference between uh, loading time right because the css file some uh, javascript file okay some data of what are all can be saved in catchy some images particularly images also so saved in the catchy all those things will be loaded in the catchy so it will be uh, the 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 particular website will be loaded fast okay you, you just practice this and you can identify what is the catchy and another one drawback uh, in external style sheet is until that one dot css page loaded okay this style won't be applied for html okay this p tag will be without style if i am i am using very uh, low bandwidth internet connection means first my html file will be loaded without any colors decorations just in in lines okay after loading this 1. css the colors the alignments will be applied so it was not uh, that much professional way of designing website 
so instead of that we can use javascript and we can use that loader so you you might come across the loading symbol while loading a website so we can use that concept until this external style sheet loading okay so that we can uh, we can eradicate this type of uh, awkward uh, displays let me see selectors css selectors so in previous example we have selected p right this is element i mean tag name okay this is tag selector okay we are selecting p as a selector we can use for span or div okay if you are using this element directly means in our project or in your page wherever div is used for all for all uh, quotes or uh, for all divs this particular style will be applied okay this is type selector right so another one selector is so this is type selector if you are noting just note it on type selector so selector plays very important role okay if you do not to select the uh, the portion i mean you do not to select how to give styling means you unable to do uh, the css perfectly because if you want to give the particular style for all uh, i mean all tags means you can use star so likewise we have several option according to your design uh, according to your outcome you can use this selectors using selectors is very important so that's why i'm saying so star star if i am using like this and i'm giving font hyphen family colon just i am using sans serif it means the whole project or the whole page will come with this font okay i don't want to give uh, this font family again for this paragraph or this span if i want to change particularly for only this span means i can give but the same font we don't want to give in all other tags this is universal selector star is universal selector universal it will be applied for all okay we have seen type selector and uh, universal selector okay then we move on to descendant descendant selector descendant selector means just take it this example see i am going to use um h1 right so hello just i am again using span friends closing span and again some content i am closing h1 okay so here i am having this span inside this h1 right so descendant selector means h1 right inside h1 we have span okay so here i can give styles if i am giving styles like this means this style is applied only for the span which is inside h1 if i am using the same format in some uh, some other place means also this style will be applied okay if i want to render this particular particular tag 
okay only this particular span the span found inside h1 only affected right if i am using uh, the span outside if i am using plainly like a span then again inside i am using h1 means it won't affect right so it will affect only this format this is descendant so let me see another one example so p okay so here i am giving one span and inside that span i am giving one b b for bold okay so here i can select this b by rendering from here if i am selecting b directly i can select b directly we can write like this if i write like this means all b all b tag in this page will be applied with this state right instead of affecting all b's i want to give still only for b which is inside paragraph span okay if i want to select accurately that particular tag means i can render like this so here in our case p space span so next b okay here this tail won't affect other p okay if we are using only p tag okay no span or no b means it won't affect okay if i am using b with span it won't affect if only this case okay only this case this style will be applied okay this is descendant selector okay very powerful tool and let we move on to next selector it is child selector so child selector comes like this just note it down child sorry child selector see our example ul so we inside ul we have several L right, right. For example, I am writing so that's why I am not giving this close. Okay. If I want to give styling for child, child means L is or child of U L. Right. By for this U L child selector. L I. Okay, now I can give styling here. This means direct L I. Okay, for example, if we are having like this, you will. So L I. So another one L I. And inside this, I am having another one O L and one L I. Okay, now O L closed. This L I closed. Now U L closed. Okay, now I want to give styling only for the child of U L. It should not affect O L. Okay, or it should not affect uh, some other L I which is present inside this child element. Okay. for that i can write like this it means the l i which is present directly for u l the child of u l only affected by this state okay the child of this l i or the child of uh, other o l won't affect right if in this case if i am giving here u l again means surely it will affect because again here we have ul and its children ly okay so this is 
child selector so next one is attribute selector so here i hope you remember attributes i just taking our input okay so input we have type is equal to text right so we have another input type is equal to checkbox okay so again i have one input type is equal to text okay see for selecting input so if i want to give style for input i can give like this input open close if i want to give style for only this particular type text means i can give like type equal to text okay we can give it as like this if you give like this selector means the styles which are inside will be affect only this input and this input this is attribute selector right so let me move on to next so that is class selector class so i hope i have uh, given small introduction about class and id so let me cover both class and id selector right so class means it is denoted with dot and id means hash okay so this class and id are declared while creating tag for example p tag if i want to give class class is equal to head p anything like just i am giving for example okay if i want to give id means p space id is equal to p tag id just i am giving for example okay so if in this case if i am giving style for p means this both will be affected right so i want to give only for id this p tag id okay on this case i can write like this hash okay for linking this id name with style means i want to give this hash symbol and the name p tag id okay open close here you can give state so for this case only this this set will be affected by this state okay if i want to uh, give separately for this paragraph means so i can use dot head p okay so here i am giving a background color red here i can use another color so just for differentiation so this is class and id selector we using this class and id mainly for separating this type of tags so if i am directly giving uh, this p tag means it will affect all paragraph tag right so for that purpose we are using this class and id and it uh, major the major uh, highlight of css is using class and id so that you can reduce the style size and also time right so nowadays we have uh, many companies were uh, uh, providing classes uh, which are, which are already created by them we can use that class inside our website so i will cover this in bootstrap okay 
so bootstrap is a css which was uh, provided by a separate company so that is freeware we can download that css we can use we can uh, sorry we can download the css and we can link it to our html page and we want to learn what are all the class names what are all the id names for giving background or uh, uh, separating the uh, html document so all these set will be used by learning okay in that uh, css if they used uh, background color and they used align left all those things they are created the style and they have given a class name or id name uh, so our work is it is enough to learn class name and id name wherever i want to use this class i just use this class only okay no need to write this set of uh, styles on top okay if you want to create your own creativity means you can go with writing your own css code but initially don't go for bootstrap just learn completely the basic css then you move on to other frameworks right so now let me move on to sudo class sudo it is represented by colon okay this colon is completely different from the colon which you are using for separating property and property value right so here this colon is used here i mean for example let me take um, the same ul li example so ul so i have li here right so if i want to select only this first child means so before that we have selected all child of ul for that we used ul so this symbol child symbol and li right so in this type we can select only the first child or second child or last child okay so for that i am just using ul colon first hyphen child so i can give style only for that first child right so still we have uh, several pseudo classes like um, we can go for a take this example a a href one dot html click okay i hope you come across this link when created it will be in blue color after clicking it it will change it to some other color like purple right so this have some pseudo classes this a particularly a tag okay a colon link okay then next one is a colon visited then a colon h over h over means mouse over then a colon active this and all pseudo class of a right so link means so we have created link but still in browser uh, that link was very fresh so we not visited that link so it is unvisited this is comment section if i want to give for a uh, comment purpose means i can go with this okay this is multi line comment so this is for unvisited and here this is for visited 
and this is for mouse over when i mouse over on this text in browser means actually the hand symbol will be changed okay it was in default but we can change that hand symbol into some other logos okay we can give some other option also so a active active means currently open okay currently opened links active links you might have opened on closed so it not come under active okay some something will be opened currently it was active active links okay we can select according to this okay so in default the link which have created newly means it will shown in blue color after clicking purple color i have already told you if i want to change this color okay my website color combination is black and orange for example it means when the link was new it should show in orange color when it was visited it want to show in black with underline so this things will be given particularly so for that purpose we are using these pseudo classes right so let me move on to first letter so we have come across this so like big p and um, so this type right the first letter only affected for this if i am using this for a uh, paragraph tag means p colon first hyphen letter simple right first hyphen letter font size so i can use 50 pixel it means it will become very big okay according to your need you can give just i am giving for example so i can use only for first line so the first line of the paragraph only shown in different state okay for that p colon first hyphen line okay here i can give font weight bold right you don't worry for this and all i will tell you just for example you just know that okay so we have some other selectors like adjacent selector adjacent sibling selector it is merely same like uh, we are using uh, div inside div we have p means we can use like this right so adjacent selector comes with plus symbol right so it means all p elements placed inside that div will be affected which is similar to div space e right so next one is group selector this is adjacent sibling selector so next one is group selector so this is very simple see i want to use a uh, too many elements like i want to give the same styling for p so i can use comma i want to give the styling for h1 so h1 comma 
so some span okay I can give styling here the style which is given here will be affected wherever P tag is located wherever H1 so this is no need to be this H1 should be inside this P tag so this and all not necessary wherever H1 is there so this style will be applied wherever span is there this style will be applied right this is group selector just grouping the element name and applying for all the elements right so all these things are only for reducing space right so reducing loading so we should be very co conscious in loading time right while creating this CSS the next one is before and after so before and after selector before and after okay this is represented by like this okay double colon right so for example div mm, like we have one div right so div tag so inside div tag i have some data okay. so inside that i have one p tag some data okay closing this p tag and closing this div tag okay for this i can write like this so div mm, this colon after okay inside this content colon hello right so some something is like a margin or pixel similar to that okay when i run this code this content Okay, this content is added after div. So in result, this hello will be shown after this div. Okay, hello, then the what are all the content which is given in that div is shown. We just adding a text or a paragraph even. Okay, so this content with the HTML element that is after right so after this div tag this margin 4 pixel is applied okay so for selecting like this after or before or uh, this particular element means we can go with this selector okay we will see, see all these selectors while using our other options so today you just try to create a new CSS file and link it with your HTML. Okay. Create, create new CSS file. Okay. We just going to differentiate between types of CSS right I have already told you you just try it out nothing is wrong okay you just try it out I, I didn't show you practically I just given you so only introduction okay you just try to give some sort of styling by uh, by this uh, content just try to give some sort of uh, styling so that you can acquire a very basic knowledge and a clear idea for initiation okay in next section we will see how to use it practically this is nitya signing out until i meet you next